Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 minus 36 equals 0. And we are going to solve this problem completely, meaning that we should bring out all the solutions. Now we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2. Now we need to break this into two so that we can group and factorize. So in 36, I'm going to bring out 27 and um, 27 and 9, right? So that this will be equal to 0. And then if I am to open this bracket, I have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 minus 27 minus 9 equals 0 and at this point we can group and factorize right so to group this i'm going to have um, x to the power of 3 minus 27 will come together and then plus i'll have x to the power of 2 minus 9 will come together and this is now equal to 0 Okay, to continue with this, remember that we can write 27 in index form. So we have x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3. Close this. Then plus here we have x to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 3 for 9. Then this is equal to 0. What do we do from here? From here we can apply this standard that if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 it should be equal to a minus b into a to the power of 2 plus a b plus b squared right so this is what we apply for this first term factor or for this first term and then for this we're going to apply difference of two squares okay now in place of this, our a now is um, x and our b is 3. Now let's go there. We're going to have um, x minus 3, that is for a minus b. Then into a is x squared, because of the square, plus ab is going to be 3x. Then plus b squared, and that will be 3 squared close this then plus we are going to the second bracket where we'll apply difference of two squares and it's going to be x minus 3 into x plus 3 that is for the difference of two squares and everything is equal to 0 now looking at these two we can okay let's take another step we have x minus 3 into x squared plus 3x then 3 squared here will give 9 close this then plus x minus 3 into x plus 3 and this is equal to 0 to continue with this we can pick out one of the factors pick out one of the factors and we have x minus 3 as a common factor and then here, we're going to have x squared plus 3x plus 9. Then plus here now, we have picked out x minus 3, right? So we are having x plus 3 in the second. Close this up and equate it to 0. Remember, we're not multiplying this and this because of this addition. Okay, so x minus 3 is out as a common factor. And then in here, we can add this and this. So that we have x squared. Then 3x plus x will give us plus 4x. Then 9 plus 3 is going to give 12. Then this is equal to 0. At this point, I can only do one thing. And it is to apply zero product rule saying that either of them or both of them are equal to 0. So x minus 3 here is either equal to 0 
or x squared plus 4x plus 12 is equal to 0. Okay, now I'm going to pick the linear equation first and deal with it. From this linear equation, x minus 3 equals 0. We can say that x is equal to 0 plus 3, and then x is now equal to 3. Now, this is one of the values of x, the real solution. But remember, the question says we should solve it completely. So, meaning that we should go to this linear um, quadratic equation and get two additional values of x. Now, let's go there. Okay, so this is the quadratic equation, and we can solve this by using the formula. The formula is x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, our a is the coefficient of x squared is 1, our b is 4, and our c is constant, which is 12. Now, x here becomes minus 4, because b is um, 4, plus or minus, we have square root of b squared, which will be 4 squared now, minus 4 times 1 times c, and our c is 12. The whole of this will be over 2 times 1. Now, to continue, we have x to be equal to minus 4, plus or minus, then 4 squared is going to be 16, minus 4 times 1 times 12 is giving 48, right? And the whole of this will be over 2. Now, we will continue. x is equal to minus 4, plus or minus. 16 minus 48 will give minus 32, and this is over 2. Now, we are going to have x to be equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 32 times square root of negative 1. I just brought out the negative from there, and this is over 2. Now, we have x to be equal to minus 4 plus or minus. This 32 here is 16 times 2. Then multiply by square root of negative 1. The whole of this is over 2. So that x becomes minus 4 plus or minus. Square root of 16 is 4. So we have root 2. Then multiply by i. Square root of negative 1 is imaginary. So we, book, um, we will pick i. Now this is over 2. So from here, 2 can now go into what we have at the top, right? So x will be equal to 2 into minus 4 is minus 2 plus or minus 2 again into this is going to be 2 root 2. Then we multiply by i. To rearrange this in a better way, we have x to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus. We have 2i root um, 2. So this is how best to arrange it. Now, this is a 2-in-1 solution because this means that, um, okay, let's get the three solutions. The first value is x equal to 3. Now, from here, we'll have the second and the third. x again, let me call this x2, x1 x2 is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2i root 2. Sorry, I'm going to use only the plus. This is our second solution. Then our third solution will be minus 2 minus 2i root 2. So if you have to solve the equation completely, these are the three solutions that you will obtain. Thank you for watching.